Pythagoras's theorem, finding the shorter sides. Now we'll remember that Pythagoras's theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And we've learnt to use that to find the value of the hypotenuse. But we also need to be able to take a question like this one, where we know the hypotenuse, the longest side, and one short side, and we want to find the other short side. So this is our second really big important C grade skill here. First one was finding the hypotenuse, now it's finding the shorter sides. And I'm going to write down the steps, and we'll do the working here. So really perfect working is very important. We always still write the formula. So we're going to write c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And every time we've written a formula, we substitute in the values we know. And we've got to be really careful that they go in the right place. c is always the hypotenuse. So c squared will be 6 squared. So we substitute in 6 where the c was. And then we've got our two shorter sides, one of them that we know the number of, one of them we don't. So that'll be x squared for this one, plus 5.4 squared, this one. It wouldn't matter which one was a or b, because it doesn't matter with the short sides. But now we want to find out what x is, and that means what we have here is an equation that we need to solve to get x on its own to find the value of x. So we'll need to rearrange and solve. To get x on its own, now there's a couple of different ways we could do it, and uh, there's a bunch of different correct ways. It's probably easiest at this point to swap the sides of the equation so that the x is on this side. We're not doing anything that involves changing signs or pluses or minuses. We're just saying, hey, I want this to be on the other side, so I'm just going to swap it around. And we can do that with an equal sign. x squared plus 5.4 squared equals 6 squared. That just gets x on this side. You don't need to, but you probably feel happier if we end up with x on this side. Now to get x on its own, We've first got to get rid of this plus 5.4 squared, because it's an equation. We had x, we squared it, we added 5.4 squared, and we got 6 squared, and we've got to reverse that to get back to just having x. So we take away this 5.4 squared from both sides, which means it disappears from here, and we've got minus 5.4 squared on this side. That's how we solve equations. Do the same thing, the opposite, on both sides. And you'll, got, you'll see we've got a subtraction here now, whereas before when we were finding the hypotenuse, here's one where we find the hypotenuse, we had a plus. And that makes a lot of sense. The big square is that square plus that square. So a little square has to be the big square minus the other little square. So when you're finding one of the shorter sides, it should always work out as the hypotenuse squared minus the other short side squared. So check if you've got to that hypotenuse squared minus the short side squared. For a shorter side, you know you're doing it right. So we'll work out what x squared is by doing that maths there. 6, use the squared key, sorry, can't see that, there we go, minus 5 point, whoops, 0.4 squared, so 6 squared minus 5.4 squared, x squared equals 6.8 Then, that's x squared. Just remember, we've got to find the side, x or whatever it is, by using the square root. 
we can't just stop at x squared. x is the square root of that number. Second and the squared button to get the square root of 6.84. And we'll round to two decimal places, 2.62. You'd check what the question was asking for, and that's in centimetres, so this answer is in centimetres. So there's a little bit more working because we've got to rearrange the formula once we've substituted values in. You could rearrange before you start it if you want. So I'll just do that down here. You don't have to if you don't feel comfortable rearranging. C squared equals A squared plus b squared, but let's say we want to solve for b squared, we want to get it on its own, we need to take away a squared from both sides, c squared minus a squared equals b squared. So a short side squared is the hypotenuse squared minus the other short side squared. You could do that before you started. Don't forget for all of the Pythagoras ones, if we end up with a squared answer, We've got a square root to get the correct length.